And Mexico is hit by a 7.5 magnitude earthquake which was felt in Mexico City. This is Sky News with Sarah Jane Mee. Well, we start with our top story and that earthquake in Mexico, a 7.5 magnitude quake that was felt in Mexico City. The tremor was centred in Guerrero State, which is north of Acapulco. Uh, we can now join uh, journalist James Blears on the phone, who's in Mexico City. Uh, so, James, tell us what happened. We're hearing that it lasted for around 30 seconds. Well, what, the first I actually heard of it, I was in my, in my office on the first floor of our building, and basically the, the, the floor and the whole building turned to jelly. Uh, uh, the, everything was just moving around in a sort of liquidy type of sense. And normally with earthquakes, they last about four, five, six seconds, but this lasted, this sensation of the whole building wobbling. Uh, lasted about 30 seconds, which it seems to be an eternity. The other thing to stress is that we live in the state of Mexico, Estado de Mexico, which is a good 10 miles away from the city centre. And so the, the, um, we, our house is actually on a hill, which is almost solid rock. So that gives an impression of the, the tremendous power of this earthquake. And uh, um, thousands of people in Mexico City uh, have uh, evacuated buildings and are still, as we speak, standing on the streets. They won't go back into the into the uh, the actual buildings because um, uh, an earthquake of this magnitude often has aftershocks, and so they're they're waiting a good time before venturing back. Uh, must be also said that this is Easter Friday, so Mexico City is relatively empty. Uh, there aren't that many people as in comparison to what there would normally be, but this has been a sizable earthquake. Um, you're talking about aftershocks and people waiting for those to follow. What kind of procedures are in place in somewhere like Mexico City that is vulnerable to earthquakes? Well, this earthquake, actually, as you mentioned a few moments ago, the epicenter of it was in Guerrero State. Um, it was in a place called Tecpan, uh, uh, which is between Acapulco and Cihuataneco. Normally, um, there's supposed to be uh, uh, an alarm here in Mexico City. I don't know. It hasn't been confirmed on any type of news reports here on local television that that, that actual earthquake alarm went off. Uh, and so that's one thing to consider. But, um, uh, um, but, but the fact that it happened so quickly, so suddenly, uh, is probably the explanation for that. But there was no prior warning uh, to this. And... Memories are still relatively fresh in, in older people's minds of the huge earthquake uh, um, on the 19th of September, 1985, which devastated uh, central down Mexico City. The official estimates there at that time were 10,000 people killed, but the, the real total was more like 25,000 people and buildings concertinaed, and the place looked as if it had been bombed in a blitz. But since then, buildings have been... Uh, redesigned with more steel and also the ability to sway rather than snap and this has been a major factor in this particular earthquake but this is a big earthquake 7.5 on, on the Richter scale is a large and a significant earthquake and so a lot of questions are going to be asked about what happened and, uh, and the alarms and the procedures and everything like this because this was a big earthquake. Okay, James Blears, thank you very much for joining us there. James Blears talking from Mexico City, the scene of that 7.5 ma magnitude earthquake that hit a little earlier. The interim government in Ukraine has given pro-Russia forces...